Uh, these are I'm not going to call them minor because there is lake snow up to the north and it is impacting travel. Even if you've been doing any traveling in central New York, you know that because we've still been cold, there's still some patches of slick roads, some slush, some ice that is just not going away. So I do have some temperatures in the forecast that'll start to look at some improvement. But when you have any new snow falling on top of that, like we do up to the north, that does cause for some concern. That's why we have a winter weather advisory. It goes into 7 a.m. tomorrow morning for the highlighted counties of Oswego, Jefferson and Lewis because lake snow is still falling there. In, fall, uh, in live triple Doppler radar brought to you by Falso Service Experts, we still have some patchy flurries in some parts of central New York, but generally today's been fairly quiet. It's up to the north that we've had consistent light snowfall, not particularly heavy, but it's just not letting up. And that's going to be the issue as we head into the overnight and into tomorrow morning. Eventually this does come to an end not before a few more inches fall. Temperatures right now are anywhere between the low 20s to the upper teens. Just a reminder that normal high for this time of year is 31. So yes, we are still below normal. And if you're headed out this evening, winds make it feel a little bit cooler, more like the single digits in Syracuse, more like 10 in Rome and Cortland's feeling like 18. So you still have to bundle up too. Let me show you how this plays out with the future cast through the rest of the evening. There's that lake snow. It's not impressive on the future cast, but it's consistent and that's the problem. That's why we're expecting a few more inches of accumulation here, but you can kind of see it tilting a little bit as we head into tomorrow morning. That's because of shifting winds. Winds will start to come out of the south as we head into the overnight. Cloud cover stays in place and those two things mixed together means temperatures will not be falling very much into the overnight. In fact, I think a lot of us tomorrow will be waking up in the teens just a few degrees cooler than we are right now, not dropping all the way below zero like some of you did early this morning. Those winds start to pick up as we head into the day tomorrow. It pushes that lake effect snow gradually up to the north and eventually it starts to bring in some drier and look at this clearing that we have for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Finger Lakes could be into some decent sunshine by the lunch hour, and we may actually see some breaks of sunshine tomorrow night. And by the way, tomorrow's the first night that sunset is back to here. Five o'clock. It's practically summer, right? <laughs> Maybe not so much. Uh, as that lake snow continues to fall overnight, here's what we're talking for new snow. East of the lake, it's a general spray of an extra coating to a couple of inches. In the blue shading here, that's where we could see a little bit more. Two to four, maybe five or six inches in some spots in Copenhagen, Mansfield, uh, in Adams, all the way into northern Oswego uh, County where that snow just doesn't want to quit until tomorrow. So the seven day forecast is all about improvement. In fact, tomorrow as that lake effect snow comes to an end and we start off in the teens, temperatures actually get closer to normal for this time of year near the uh, low 30s. In fact, we go even warmer on Saturday. We could be making a run at the low 40s, depending on where you live on Saturday. That's going to be the difference between some breaks of sunshine and up to the north. There will still be some stubborn cloud cover around maybe a stray sprinkle or flurry in some spots north of Syracuse on Sunday. The clouds kind of take over for everybody. We still have a lot of dry time. We're slightly cooler, but still warmer than normal for this time of year. Watch for showers to start to develop Sunday night into Monday. That's the next system that we're tracking. It starts with spotty rain on Monday. Rain picks up in intensity Monday night into Tuesday morning. It will be soaking. Then we sharply drop and change over to snow.